All right, guys, so here we are with Alma, Mary Jane, and Roseanne. She's actually in school, but she's a little behind. So uh, today we're gonna ask her if she was able to uh, talk to the teacher or the person ahead to uh, possibly skip ahead any grades. What's the update with that? <laughs> Uh, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. So okay. She's gonna try to talk to the school. And if you guys need... Monday. Sorry? Monday. You go Monday. Okay, perfect. So uh, next time we see you, uh, maybe we can get an update with that. And who do you need to talk to? Is that like the teacher or the like a principal? Yeah. yeah. Or just teacher someone or in charge? Okay. They're gonna ask what they can do. Okay, they good. Can. If they can, okay. And just to recap uh, our remembrance, what grade were you in right now? Grade one. Grade, grade one. one. And how old are you? Tw Twelve. Okay. In grade one, is usually like, uh, what's the age usually for grade one? Seven. Around seven years old. Seven or eight. Okay. So we're hoping that she can skip a few grades to get with her uh, classmates. How has, um, every month we give her allowance for school, and uh, last month we were able to get, um, Anything with the allowance? I know we talked about maybe getting some like uh, reading books or were you able to get any reading books? She bought back from that and then she also teaches her how to read. Perfect. She helps her. That's good. So you guys make a good team. Is she a good teacher? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's very that's very thoughtful. It's very helping to have uh, extra family. And you guys are cousins, right? Yes. Okay. So that's cool that you guys are able to help each other. And what grade are you in? Eleven. Eleven? Are you... And what, what age is that? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. So you're sixteen and she's twelve. And... Um, so that's good that you guys are able to help each other. Are you guys in the same school or is that totally separate? Separate, separate school. All right. Um, Roseanne, uh, what uh, kind of things do you want to do when you are finished with school? Like, do you have like a, a passion or something you want to go towards? Um, go on. <laughs> gonna, I want to be a police. Police, yeah. that's, that's popular police. too. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. And to remember, what was what was something you wanted to do? Was it a teacher? Teacher. teacher that's cool. <laughs> and that's okay to ever change your mind. This is just something uh, what you are ambitious about right now. But that's really cool. That's important. Teachers and police women. So uh, today we want to give you your allowance again for this month. Uh, so I'll just give you. Uh, sure. There's 3000 for you. You're very welcome. And then we do have a little gift for Roseanne for your help. Here's 1000 for you. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. And we appreciate you helping with uh, Mary Ann. So that's really nice. Of you. Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a cat. <laughs> so Roseanne is actually Alma's daughter. Yes. Oh, okay. Only we didn't know. <laughs> Well, yeah, and some of them might not know either. So yes, this is Alma. This is Mary Ann's auntie. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, and this is a big uh, thank you to Auntie G. Yes. 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 Also, Auntie G to gonna told me that he gave me uh, extra, if not she extra. And so my English. So she's gonna help her too if they have extra. Well, that's perfect. I'm glad you were able to talk to Auntie G. So big thank you to Auntie G. That's really cool to help. Thank you, Auntie uh, G. <laughs> so this is really nice and to see you guys uh, just enjoying school more. Do you think with this extra help, it just makes you probably some relief that you don't have the, so much pressure of where the money is coming from. It probably helps Auntie, uh, your Auntie Elma as well because usually she'd be the one, you know, helping with the money. And now this is a big probably help with Alma. How do you feel having this money coming? Sa feeling ting ang nang naitabang ni nila para pagskwila ba magandaan imohang kuan. Ano ako kuan nila? 
she's she's happy because it's a relief. That's it's a relief. Good. She doesn't need to worry about their allowance. That's awesome. Hopefully, with the money that you're saving, you can do something fun for yourself. Yeah. I hope to ma enjoy sa mag enjoy sa ka kay kanang dili na kayo buat para ni mo para nga pagspila niya. All right, so I guess this is the update for this time. So next time we come, hopefully we can um, get some good news about hopefully uh, Mary and uh, Mary Jane. Sorry, um, maybe uh, skipping a few grades to yeah, enjoy hope your so. classmates. Yeah, hope they can do something about that. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, Auntie G, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Happy Mary Jane. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bye bye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh no, we need repair. Three, two, one. Overtime. Close. Nice shot. Can you dunk? Nice shot. That's not easy either. The secret is just like this. Oh, right. <laughs> so here's a Philippine basketball hoop. Now I understand why you like basketball. Why do I like it? Because it's addicting. Once you can shoot, it's addicting. You want to shoot more and more. It is addicting, yeah. This was my addiction when I was uh, younger. Want to practice more? Like, yeah. yeah. Want, want to shoot more. That's a cool hoop. Who built the hoop? It's like him on the hoop. Nice shot. That was nothing but, <laughs> you can't say net, but right through the rim. Yeah. Was it the adults that built it or the kids built it? He built it. Nice. All by himself? No help? Yeah, no help. Wow. That's Angie's little brother. And this is Omen's daughter, and then the rest are uh, Angie's siblings. They grow so fast. Yeah. Last time we came here, we did, um, what's that, sliding, sliding there? Yes, so I remember that. This is probably maybe our 10th CR? I don't remember. It was Omen's first, and then eventually we build a double CR here, and then... Uh, they ended up being torn down when the typhoon came, and then we had to rebuild it again. But basketball is hours and hours of fun. This is what I used to do every day for hours and hours, just playing basketball. So they got badminton and basketball, and you also can slide. <laughs> Back in the day, me and Richie and probably 20 other people were sliding down this hill here. Lots of fun adventures over here. Do you guys remember Omen? That's where Omen lives.
and he's got a bike. <laughs> All right, so this next gift is coming from uh, James. He's a former police person, and that's actually Angie's uh, goal right now. And uh, of course she can change her mind, you know, just because she wants to do it now doesn't mean she can't change her mind, but this is something just to help her. Um, so how's everything going? Uh, James has been helping her with school and different projects for school. The last project you had was for sewing? Yeah. Yeah? Well, were you able to finish that one? Good. What grade did you get? A decent grade? Ninety-three. That's really, really good. All right. That's good to hear. So uh, there's a big event coming up soon. Can you tell us what that is? That's Starts with a P. P. Isn't a J. Oh J. You guys don't call it prom. Uh, G S. Prom. G S prom. Okay. Mm -hmm. We call it prom. Mm -hmm. In America, so you almost call, what's GS stand for? It's like junior and senior. Oh, okay. Right? Mm, junior and senior from. AA. Okay. And uh, Richie might be doing Angie's hair yeah, and makeup. Yeah, hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, I, I I did Richie's hair. I could do your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you trust me with scissors? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll if just. Not choosy here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to ruin her <laughs> night, so I'll just yeah. stay away that day. <laughs> yeah. So the three of them, Shira, Angeline, and Arnie. So I told her she can come earlier so, because uh, they are near, so I can do her first. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day doing. Yeah. How long does it usually take, like per person, to do hair and makeup? Mm, I don't know. Maybe an hour. Mm. Depends because they have hair and makeup. Yeah. Well, that's a cool, that's an exciting day. Like, how often do you dress up and, you know, wear makeup like that? Is this like once a year or like... Grade 11, okay. Yeah, grade 11 and 12. Okay, so you're in 11th this year and next year 12th and then that's when you graduate, right? 12th grade? 12th, no. Graduate na pa sa high school. Yes. Okay, fun. So, uh, James actually wanted to help you with prom. What kind of expenses do you have for prom? Like, what things do you need to purchase for prom? Okay. And the students need to pitch in for that? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's theirs. So that's something kind of uh, maybe people don't know. Uh, you know, of course, the students would have to pay for their dress, their shoes, their, you know, things mm -hmm. with them, like makeup, mm -hmm. hair, and then also they need to pay for uh, yeah. the things yeah. for the school, like the sound, the decorations. The decorations. So, you know, that's not yeah. always They'll cheap. Be the one to benefit, so they, they, they need to pay for, it. pay for it. Okay. And then sometimes are they in charge of like cleaning up afterwards as well? Yes, okay. And preparing and it after. before and after. So yeah. everything. Before and then during, they get to enjoy it. Hopefully, yeah. they have a good time. And then after, they need to clean up. Yeah. All right. So, um, James wanted to give you one five for your dress, for your shoes, and for you know the before and after for the prom to help you with that. And then also um, for your allowance for school, um, this is weekly for now. This is for school. Like, thank uh, you. yeah. Thank you to James. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, James. Midnight Frog Studio. Thank you so much, James. So, uh, yeah, I, I, um, I bet that's a big relief to help with like school and different things like that uh, with prom. And now you're able to mm. do that. Last time we talked to Angeline, uh, she said she was doing helping with carrying bricks yeah. and hollow blocks. Mm. Is a big help for now they and they have another projects coming so 
Okay. Allowance is a good help. Good. I'm glad that uh, subscribers. This, this video is pretty much for the subscriber mm -hmm. that helps. So thank you guys so much. This is uh, you know a big blessing to the kids here. Yeah. Thank you. So I guess this is the update for today. Yeah. Um, again, thank you so much to you guys, and we'll probably update you guys next time. Yeah. So have fun at your, we'll probably see you before prom. Yeah. So that's coming up soon, but uh, yeah, until now, until then, we'll see you next time. Yes. See ya. Wow, Are you So this was just filled up down by the well, right? Yeah. And that's down here. You have to walk all the way down. It's pretty far down there. So there's no way you can really take a bike down there or take a wheelbarrow or anything with the wheels. I know some of you suggested that. Is this the path that you take here? Over here more? So I'm not sure exactly where the path is. Uh, I was gonna show you guys just to kind of see an example. Which way? Keep going. Through here? Okay, I think somewhere in here. Going this way? Alright. I'm not gonna go all the way down, but this is the path that they take. So this is just a small example, but you can see there's lots of loose rocks. Well So going down is easier, but coming up, see when you get in this things like that, this is where you can't take, you know, something like with wheels. Because if you can see here, there's a big gap here. You can see that. And then there's kind of steps here. I don't know, it's hard to tell with the video. So, you know, those are good ideas about having like some kind of wheel system or something like that. But going up here would be very difficult and you know, going the rest of the way. So really the only option is to carry it, which they do. And I'm gonna try to catch them. Then they take the rest of the way up with the motorbike. But anyway, that's like another, that's where they take their showers or baths too. They go down there and it's somewhere down there. Oh wow, what a view. That's pretty nice. So anyway, now they're at the other step where they take the rest of the way with the motorbike. It's gonna be nice when this road is all the way finished. That's a big project. The biggest, uh, most challenging part is down a little bit where the road goes down. Right now there's lots of gravel. So this is for drinking, so they got this one from Tama. From where? They got this one to where you play basketball. Okay. So there's different, there's different areas where they get different waters for different purposes. Yes. So the one down there is for uh, baths and washing the dishes. dishes. And this one's for drinking. drinking. All right, so that one's down there. And you were able to drive this yeah, there? Yeah, she, dro she drove. Good, good. She just They're gonna they're gonna Rochambeau to see who carries it. So this is gonna be example of what they do. I know a lot of people are gonna say, Dustin, why don't you carry it for them? But I just want to see how they do it. Wow! Can you carry me? Wow! That is impressive. So when they carry it down from the well, they do the same thing, but it's, you know, the terrain is, you know, kind of difficult to walk up. I'm gonna teach you how to park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you park now. Well, that's impressive.
Very good. This is the same path where we had take all the time to go to Baludoy. And sometimes in the rain, this gets really, really muddy and even more challenging. So right now, at least it's dry and it's hard. So this actually isn't too bad to ride the bike through. That's how I the bike, right? in, in the <laughs> I didn't get to see it. If you guys don't know the story how Richie and Arnie end up parking into the bush. <laughs> it was when Richie was learning how to drive and you know she was doing really well. Really well. Like she was yeah, the parking is a hard part. The parking and starting, once you get going, it's actually not so bad. Well, anyway, her and Arnie had to go to the house, and that was the first time you guys drove alone, right? Or yeah, yeah. one of the first times. One of the first times. That someone has, uh, like, I like, have like a, a back bike. partner, a back yeah. partner, okay. So they made it to the house fine. This is from Lola's house to Richie's new house. Yeah. And the way there was okay, right? Yeah. The way coming back was the hard part, right? Yeah. We had, we, we until I need to bring that one into the path. There's no uh, cement. It's not cement. Mm. So I wasn't supposed to park that one. I, I was supposed to go up there to park, but then it's like, I was like, it's really, and then it's so heavy. <laughs> it like, almost, almost fell on the side. <laughs> so it's kind of similar to that. There's like a path coming through and on either side, there's like woods and trees and bush. And Richie tried to go through the path, but she ended up going the other way into the it's woods. Like <laughs> so I was I was just hanging out at Lola's house. It was when we were living at Lola's, right? Yeah, yeah. It was during the typhoon yeah, time. We didn't have the... we didn't have power or anything like that. Yeah. So anyway, we're staying there, and Arnie comes like, Dustin, Dustin, we need your help. And I didn't know what to expect. I was like, Oh, what what's going on? So I came down. I see Richie in the bushes <laughs> with the bike going. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. I need to hold the brake. <laughs> Yeah. But luckily you guys are okay. Yeah. You guys, you guys are totally fine. After so, that, I didn't yeah, that's the last time you drove, right? You didn't. You, no. That kind of ruined it. Now yeah. you're now you're not gonna drive anymore. Yeah, and especially like this is very hard and amazing. Yeah, so Eliza drove all the way up. That's pretty good. Yeah. So cool. So we actually came to uh, talk with Dodo's family. Uh, they're having trouble with power right now. Uh, they're having shared power, so uh, right now I think they're cut off. But anyway, we're going to talk to them and learn a little bit more. Alright guys, so now we're at Dodo's place. Um, how's the bed working out? Are you more comfortable at night? rather than? Yes. Good. It looks nice in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So last time we were here, we were able to get them some furniture, a big thank you to Pam. And then I just want to do an update with them real quick. Um, the situation they're in now is that they do not have power. So something they just purchased, what is this? Solar. Solar. So this is able to charge your like phones and like small appliances. Were you able to test it yet or just brand new? It's brand new, so they're gonna test. They're gonna test it. All right, cool. So anyway, this is kind of an update for uh, Pam, uh, just to kind of show her what's going on. Um, so they are connected. Sometimes uh, the situation is where some families are connected to the same power, and then um, they just kind of split it. But uh, right now, there's a kind of a lot of people that are connected to one power so the owners uh ask them not to have to have their own yeah. so right now they do not have power and um you know that's just the next step is for them to try to get their own power and it's kind of we got power for um linda mm. and wilson mm. and though, though that was a little difficult that was our first time doing that so if you guys haven't seen that video um it is kind of a lot of back and forth running around they do have to go to seminar um but i think they don't have to get a post because there is one already so that saves a little bit of time and money 
So hopefully all they need to get is a wire and then seminar and go from there. But uh, the furniture looks good though. I think I love that bamboo. Near the window. Yeah. So anyway, this was just a small update for Pam. Uh, hopefully this kind of shows the situation. But uh, hopefully we can get that resolved soon. But anyway. Yeah, now that you don't have electricity, you sleep very early. So you can go look. Do you have any uh, like lights at night at all? This one. It's like a candle. No, it's not. Gas, need I? So this is probably. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, we made a video with Richie's Lola mm -hmm. where um, I forget That's the cotton. process. You stick cotton in there yeah. with, with some kind of oil. Isn't it just regular kitchen oil? Yeah, I think. Or is it, a, is it a special kind of oil? I think it was just kitchen oil, wasn't yeah, it? Kitchen oil. I really don't remember. I don't want to say anything wrong. But uh, the, we do have an older video if you guys want to look up like Lola showing us how to make a lamp or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, yeah, you stick the oil in there, I think, the cotton, and then you light it and it lasts for a while. Just make sure your windows are open because that's probably, uh, but it's it, at least it is, they do have lights. That's That's a way how they make it. In school so or or during or the day morning, here, yeah. morning or while it's still light, because it's probably hard to do, you know, homework around this light. Especially windy here. I know yeah. This, like, Will this stay lit all night, or do you do you, like blow it out when it's when you sleep? All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some other candles too. <laughs> we actually just gave them, of course, right now it's not in use because they don't have electricity, but they, before watching one DVD over and over and over again. How many times did you watch that one DVD? Many times. What was the name of the movie? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Uh, Tomb Raider? Maleficent. Ah, okay. That's a good one, too. That's like Snow White, Snow White or something. So, uh, we gave them a whole bunch of CDs. Were you able to watch some of those before the power went out? Good. So they and they have a long way to go. We gave them like I don't know how many, like thirty. I don't know how many, but we gave them a lot of DVDs where they can watch. Some music. Some music too. Okay, and then they have nice speakers. That we came here a few times. They're singing karaoke. Maybe maybe they will games. like it as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure any boy will like yeah. those kind of types of movies. But alright, this is just a quick little update for Pam and then uh, we'll keep you updated with this. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Yeah, make sure they get some sun. Yeah, let's take a look. Solar charger. There's actually um, solar light also. Nasa solar light? Nasa mo? Very nice here. <laughs> 
Get very a, romantic. Very romantic. This is. We should have a little picnic here. Yeah. Dodo would mind if you just sat here. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the sun okay. set. Nice sunset here. Yeah, we go up there sometimes. Uh, sometimes people camp up there. You even get a better view because you can see that side, this side, pretty much the 360 all around. And then another really good view where Rosie used to live. That's probably one of the best views. You go up there and it's way up on top of the hill up there. Yeah, we used to do the classes there. But anywhere you go, if you take a hike through here, you can appreciate the views. All right, we have one more stop we're gonna try to do. Go check out Edward's house. That fire actually feels pretty nice. It's cooler right now. Nice view here. All right, so you guys have a new addition to the family. Yeah. Our <laughs> piggy. Our piggy. How old are they? Let's go take a look. Oh, I saw our names in there. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin and Richie. That's cool. Catherine Edward. Nice. That's really cool. I should do like that to our cement. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to do that. But we still have other chances to do. <laughs> so this is a big thank you to Christopher Holland. Yeah, this is a big thank you to him. Like yeah. most of this has been uh, All from him. All of this, yeah. yeah. So huge, huge thank you. A big thank you for him. Yeah. So we're excited to meet the piggies. Yeah. So when uh, are you able to sell them, do you think? Ooh, wow. Hello. Look how cute. The cute's a brown. <laughs> They're one month in. They did a really good job on this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very good. Oh, nice. Very, very sturdy. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's fun. Very <laughs> <laughs> creative. Do you know what that's for? For the one. For the. Tai? The tai. That's a good idea. That's brilliant. <laughs> How messy does it get a day? Do they poop a lot during yeah. the day? Yeah. Every morning. Every morning, yeah. And then they, last, first time we were here, at least when they're building it, they're building the septic tank. Yeah. So that's a big thing when you have pigs to keep the smell down. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sliding down. I'll, I'll see you down the hill. <laughs> so that's a big septic tank. That should last a very long time. And I don't notice any smell, so actually it's doing its job. I don't smell anything, so that's good. Very good looking pigs. So they're about a month and a half now. Month and a half. Month and a half. Wink, wink. We get them. We we'll get them in the February, in the fourth. Okay. In about three months is when you sell them? Yeah, three months. When they're good to. Three months. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> Just like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Making yeah, a mess. Milk. <laughs> yeah, it's just drinking, right? The name is Kate and Teloy. <laughs> They're male and female. Male and female, yeah. okay. I'm named Kate and Teloy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said when you sell them. <laughs> so is your plan for them to mate or no? Like uh, okay. no, no, we're selling in three months. Selling. So you're just going to sell them both? Yeah. Yes. And then how do you... And buy another one. Yeah. Just buy another one, okay. Four, four. Okay, mm -hmm. you're gonna buy four next yeah. time? Oh, okay. When they sell them, we will, we will oh, make our it, plan is four. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because it will double. Double, yeah. Yeah, double. that's cool. Have to double up. And then keep, and then then four will probably be no, the most five. you get? Yeah. Four or five? I think four or five in this. Yeah. Will... I think when they're this small, they don't take up that much space. Next to Edward's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you run out of room, they can just share the bed with Edward. <laughs> we'll, we'll yeah. visit them and we'll see Edward sleeping with the <laughs> thing. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be back. Yeah. We know if you guys ever get in a fight, we'll see Edward sitting out here with the pigs. Now the pig, 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 the pig
Actually, the their mama, the the big very close to the face. Oh yeah. Hmm. Usually the when they give birth, yeah, the the people will. Really? For how long? It's <laughs> cold water. Oh, deep. For how many nights will they sleep with the pig? Until they get big enough to hold the pig. They watch. They they gonna like a nurse or midwife. Oh yeah. For the pig. It's like human. Wow. The mother pig will give birth. It's like human. You will watch. You will watch so, them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's Usually, if you want to watch, you will watch them. So, if no one will watch, uh, probably they might die. No, they might die. Because the mama pig will... Like squash them, yeah. like roll over? Uh, lay down to them. Because pigs are, I mean, are huge animals. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, I've never seen a birth of a pig before, but I have seen a pregnant pig before, and they yeah. are huge. Yeah. Yeah. And... Yeah. I've never seen it yet. Have you? If they are about to give birth, you should watch them. Watch them. You will you will sleep with them? Yeah. Ah. I learned that's something new I learned today. I saw that makes sense now. George pigs. It was huge. Yeah. That's where I saw yeah. And they were pregnant at that time, weren't they or no? Okay. So I can see how you would have to watch them. I mean they have like how many piglets do they usually have in one birth? Thirteen or fourteen. 13 or 14 yeah. piglets? Wow. Wow. 13 or 14. Uh, that's a lot. So, I mean, it's hard for the mother to keep track of all of them. I mean, she roll, rolls over one time. I mean, that can definitely kill a pig. 15? 15 for this one? So, that's about how big they are when they're about a month old or so. So they come out pretty good size. Yeah. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink. Good looking piggies. Do they eat a lot? And is it special kind of pig food you need to buy? No. For piglets, no. For oh. piglets, yeah. Yeah. The starter. Starter. The grower. The starter, the grower, the finish it. Every month, month there will be a different kind of food. Oh, okay. Food, yeah. So the bigger they get, the, the more. The first one is the free starter, and then starter, grower, and then the finisher one. Nice. When they, when they, when they kind of, when about to sell. Okay. I remember Jingjing Jing and Richard's pig, they feed that one with camote. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. The, uh, camote? Oh, oh, oh. Some They'll eat pretty much anything, I think. I think they, I know, uh, maybe it's a different kind of pig, like hogs or something like that. I know they yeah. will eat like bones and everything. Yeah, yeah. If feed them. Yeah, feed them. <laughs> if they see. Back in the 90s, they eat bananas. Oh, bananas. So they eat vegetables, fruits, and even like other animals maybe too. At least that's why I've... Yeah, if there's chicken. Yeah. <laughs> chicken will fly. You and think milk. they eat a chicken? I think no. You think no, maybe. <laughs> but you guys, let us know if you're watching. If you guys know, if, if pigs eat animals, if they get the chance. But I think mostly maybe the vegetarian and maybe other food. I'm not really sure. I don't know too much about pigs. Wink, wink. <laughs> so by three months, is that fully grown or not yeah, yet? Fully grown. Three, months three months is fully grown. Wow. Okay. Three, three to four months. Three to four months. Three okay. Three so they grow quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really fast. If so that's that's. If, if they eat too much. <laughs> if they eat too much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's better that they will eat. The important of this of the pig is more. <laughs> they have water. Water is the most important. Mm -hmm. They basically go. Yeah. They have water. They basically go. And how's your situation with water? I will pitch. Yeah, is that is that difficult? It's El Nino now. El Nino. Mm. It's so hot here. <laughs> how is there a well? Every, every morning, in the morning. Every, every, every five in the a.m. I will wake pitch water. How long of a walk is it? I think five to ten minutes. Yeah. Ten minutes. And is it a well? A well. A well. And how uh, deep is it? How much water is in there? Is it almost dry? Yeah, it's almost, almost dry. dry. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. now it's like really dry season. Yeah. Some people will, uh, will wait for it. They, yeah. <laughs> 
racing. We'll be racing yeah. the water, yeah. Yeah, first come, first serve. Oh, yeah. wow. First come, first serve. They have um, a little sana, kana, like from the government, but mm. oh, it's okay. not enough. So the the government they gives you water. Uh, the yeah. here is Monday. Monday. Every Monday you get no. water, yeah. and is that for drinking or for for, for wash. wash? For wash, for like washing clothes. So do you use that for the pigs or no? You do. Okay. So for your drinking water, do you use like um those bottles? Those uh. Okay. That's the same as us. Okay. Hey, we will buy another one. Do not when the government gives you the water. Do you use rainwater for anything? Oh, for what? For the pigs. Do you take a bath with rainwater or no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so do, I, I like it. Some people think it's too, like, slimy or something. No. But I, I I like yeah. They say it's actually good for your good for your uh, body because it's more uh, like other kind of it's kind of too dry and it kind of dries out your body. But actually, it kind of moisturizes your body. For me, it's slimy. For me, it's good. I think I think more guys don't yeah. care, don't care. <laughs> but I think girls are uh, a little more, more guy picky. Will play in the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Usually guys have like shorter hair so it's quicker to rinse it out. But girls I can see why. They have longer hair. You know, it stays in their hair longer. <laughs> That's interesting though. But alright, this is just a quick update. I want to show Chris this because uh, it's a big thank you to him that he's doing all this. And most of the stuff, we went to other houses too. And a lot of these, what we showed today was, you know, all behind the scenes. Like, uh, those are families that are connected with the subscribers. And, you know, I don't really have a lot to do with it. I just want to show some updates every once in a while. And it's a big thank you to the subscribers. What? He bought you a motorbike too. That's amazing. That's a new one. Yeah, that's so cool. That's a huge help. <laughs> to our home. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, Richie needs a bike to practice we'll on. Uh -oh. can, can Richie practice on your bike? Yes. <laughs> no, we will ride. <laughs> no. No. Four of us, we will ride. Uh... Alright, we'll take a trip. Yeah, we'll take a trip. Alright, the girls will drive and we'll sit. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just stay here. <laughs> stay here. <laughs> does, does Catherine know how to drive? Yeah. No. no. She's afraid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Same. So, mm -hmm. hi, you know. Have you tried before? <laughs> yes, I tried. What happened? I Yeah. I can see it. it's just some people it's just like, you know, I don't know how to just, it's just hard for some people I guess. Cause sometimes for different things, like I remember I was uh, back in the day when I was a basketball coach, there are some people you know, in like the kind of the younger stages, mm -hmm. you pump some people. You just knew they're going to be good at basketball, yeah. and other kids like, okay, I, I know those yeah. kids are not going to be good at basketball. You can just tell right away. And same thing with riding mm -hmm. a bicycle. Be like, okay, you can tell that they're going to be good, and other was like, you know, they're yeah. no matter how much they practice, they're not going to be very good. Yeah. And that's just like, something that you're born with, I think. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> yeah. to, just unfortunately, you weren't born with the riding yeah. chromosome or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very Eating. Eating. Yeah. I, I have a big talent of eating too. <laughs> That's one thing I enjoy too. Richie's really good. She's like, if there's a professional eating program, Richie would be on top. <laughs> they're actually, in America, and I think in other parts of the country, there are, in the world, there actually are eating competitions. Yeah. Would you ever join one? That'd be fun to see. I think you and Raymond would be good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be, that'd be fun to see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can find a competition. Edward, you too, would you join? An eating competition? I would. All right, all right. That'd be fun to see. Yeah. You see Cobra We did. The one near Samang, but there's another one here too, right? Evening. 
From helicopter. You think the helicopter dropped it? Yeah. There's a um, rumor. Yeah. That there's a helicopter dropped snakes. There's no cobra here in. Yeah, it is kind of interesting because since I've, well, in the last like year yeah. or so, like, or I'm not sure how long, but there has been more sightings of cobras in the last like year yeah. than there has been since I've been here. We've never seen one before. <laughs> There's a bug on me. Anyway, I've never seen one before. And then in the last like, uh, probably eight months or so, there's been many, many sightings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Sam Ong, we saw one here, yeah. all over. All over? Yeah, all over this area. Yeah, a lot of cobra. Yeah, a lot of cobra. And I've never seen them or s heard of sightings before, but in the last like eight months or s uh, less than that, there's been a lot of them. So be careful if you're in this area because yeah. people are start starting to just mm -hmm. guess that they're either placed here or. In the all right, we don't know what's going on. How old is the one? Like they... In the, in the road. Mm. They in the road. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, so far, no casualties or no bites. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean, that's fortunate because, I mean, usually though, snakes are pretty... They won't attack you. It's, it's unless you scare really them. Yeah. But, yeah, they are dangerous. But anyway, guys, this is just a quick update. Yeah. It's nice to see the piggies. And then uh, I think that's a very, very good business. That's a very good idea. So mm -hmm. wish you guys luck to sell thank those. You, yeah, yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you. And if we ever have a celebration where we need pigs, we know where to come now. Yeah. So that's cool. <laughs> no, Edward, it's okay. Edward, he wants me to test drive it. You guys, check this bike out. Wow. I was thinking just like a normal bike, but wow. This is nice, Chris. So did Chris pick it out or you pick it out? You guys picked it out. This is you guys have good taste, man. It's really nice. Yes, it is. Big tires. <laughs> Huge tires. That's a good idea. Especially the, the bumpy roads out here. Nice. Great. Nice taste. Big seat. That's very comfy. Man. You can switch. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice bike. Alright, very cool. Nice bike. What is it? Uh, 155? 155, cool. Very nice bike. It's big. Catherine, want to give us an example? <laughs> <laughs> that is a big bike all right guys so our last stop of the evening uh mary Fay. we'll do a, a little nice update time. we'll turn around real quick airplane, airplane. we see lots of airplanes pass, pass here and the sun just set it was pretty nice Right over that hill is like Dodo's family. So this is kind of all in the same area. And right up there is where there's a really nice view. You can see the whole 360 area. All right. So with Mary Faye, um, the last time we went to see the doctors, um, we got some information. We did like the EMG test for her nerves. And uh, then we, ta we talked to the neurologist. And uh, we uh, talked to the, what other one? The lung doctor. Anyway, the next steps are for her physical therapy, which I think is exciting. So that's, that's the next steps. But we are actually waiting for a little bit because Mary Faye has prom. So she mm. is getting ready for that as well. Yeah. So that's exciting. So we, she's going to take a little break from the hospital visits. But uh, she's going to have some fun at prom, which is exciting. Are you excited or nervous? Excited because she actually uh, have a dance. Then like dance, dance, dance. no. Who join? Oh, okay, yeah. They all dance, like including Arnie, Angeline. And they have like an audience. Senior high, senior high, yeah. We're gonna dance. And it's it like in front of people. In front like, of people. Oh, cool. So that's what the, uh, they're practicing. They're practicing. Right practicing. Now. Okay. So she, she joined. I said she likes it. So yeah, and it's an exercise for her. That's good. Do you know uh, any bet? You want a sample? Can I be your 
Yeah, very good. Yeah. So, were you able to um, find a dress? But she was able to find a dress, wasn't she? I thought. They're still looking. Oh, they're still looking. Okay, okay. They still have time. Okay, good. <laughs> how how was you how did you like your birthday party surprise? It's okay? I saw them dancing. It's very dark in here. Okay, there we go. I'll scoot back a little bit. <laughs> did you have fun for your birthday? It was yeah. good? Yeah, it's good. We saw uh after we left, Richie and I did leave kinda early. But when we went to the hospital the next day, Mary Faye was showing me some of the video clips and uh, they had a really good time. So I'm really glad. Thank you to everyone that helped out with that. That's really cool of you. And that was cool that we were able to show her a good time. So she had all her friends here, some family, they had lots of good food, lots of dancing and uh, karaoke and stuff. So that's cool. Yeah. All right, so this is just a quick update with Mary Faye. And uh, we probably won't see you again until after the uh, dance maybe. Yeah. So have a really good time at the dance. Enjoy. Yeah, good luck with the dance. Uh, have fun. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll hear about it later when we see you again. Show us a video. We're <laughs> dancing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next week you see us, we'll probably do some physical therapy. So that's something to really look forward to. So, all right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.